Hello Commanders and Merry Christmas, I hope you had an amazing Christmas Eve. The Season 7 of Conflict of Nations is here and today we are going to present you the new Elite unit, the Elite Swarm UAV. Today's video is going to be a tutorial about this unit, we are going to test it on the battlefield and this is an overview of its features and perks. It has a radar signal of uh, a fixed wing aircraft which is immobile and it can be deployed by several units which such as um, uh, motorized infantry, naval infantry, special forces, combat recon vehicles, etc. etc. and more important, the national guards. Uh, it is, as I said, a fixed wing aircraft uh, and it attacks soft targets, surface vessels and hard targets. It has scouting abilities, it can reveal stealth, it is a single-use unit like missiles uh, and also it has a time limitation. Don't worry guys, I know that you are going to be a little bit confused here because but we are going to test it on the battlefield. I'm going to present you how you are going to mobilize it and everything you need to know about this new unit. So in order to be able to make the new unit, we need the deployable gear. And also we need a unit that can deploy these Swarm Elite UAVs. So in this video, I'm going to choose the National Guards. We can deploy them by National Guards because National Guards, they are very fast to be uh, deployed and also they are cheap. So they are not going to pose a problem here to make this tutorial. So this is what I am going to do. I'm going to build the recruiting offices in all of my cities and I'm going to do the research of um, the National Guards and also I'm going to do the research of the Elite Swarm UAV Level 1. But very important tip guys, uh, every unit have a certain level to be able to deploy these uh, uh, swar elite swarm UAVs. And also we will need the secret weapon labs to build our deployable gear. The deployable gear is some sort like warheads. We need um, uh, secret labs to build warheads to be able to launch missiles. So in this case, we are going to need the uh, secret weapon labs to be able to build our deployable gear because this is the consumable unit. This is the deployable gear, consumable uh, unit and consumable cargo to be able to deploy our elite swarm UAVs. So uh, our uh, recruiting offices are ready. Uh, we built the first wave of the National Guards and now we are going to build the first wave of the deployable gear. When these deployable gear, they are going to be ready, you will see in the above panel by uh, the nuclear warheads there, the deployable gear number, which is going to be increased as we are going to have uh, some deployable gears there in our stock. So I built uh, four uh, secret weapon labs in four of my cities and also I upgraded my national guards because it's a very important thing that now I have level 5 but I cannot yet deploy those elite swarm UAVs so here let's check the modern national guard I only need level 6 national guards to be able to deploy these uh, swarm UAVs you can see here from the uh, the information about the unit that only from the level 6 we can deploy the uh, elite swarm UAVs but it's not the same from the National Guards to the Special Forces for example because from level 1 you can deploy it uh, these elite swarm UAVs so today my ally Ethiopia has been invaded by Saudi Arabia so this is a beautiful occasion we have a tough player here having a level 1 main battle tanks and level 4 motorized infantry and we are going to test our elite swarm UAVs on him because you know that elite swarm UAVs they are very strong against uh, armored uh, with um, a, uh, with a damage of 45 the max level elite swarm UAV of course because we have three levels in this elite unit three levels every level have a certain um, have a certain damage so here I have max level national guards around 40 or each so here I am going to send my uh, National Guards to be able to defend my ally Ethiopia from this Saudi Arabian invasion. And I'm going to use the Elite Swarm UAVs. Here you can see that I sent 10 National Guards to the capital Addis Ababa. They are going to have their time disembarking there to be able to be deployed on the, uh, on the war. But there is a very important thing here, very important detail that you should know, that uh, during disembarking, the National Guards, they cannot launch those uh, elite swarm UAVs. That's a very important tip. I didn't know it before. 
I didn't know about that because I thought that when I am going to send those 10 National Guards by the airport, I'm going to be able to use them fast. But nope, that didn't happen. Uh, I need to wait for the disembarking to finish to be able to launch my first um, Elite Swarm UAVs. But not yet also because my National Guards, they are going to need to refill and resupply with the Elite Swarm UAVs. You can see here, I cannot launch while embarking or disembarking. I wanted to focus on this information because it's very important. In the middle of the fight, you need to use your infantries, but do not use the airports. Uh, move them by land, like that you can use them very fast. Now I am going to explain more the perks and the options of this unit. I'm going to have my time now explaining it. So the first thing here, uh, launched by various current vehicles, the explosive autonomously, etc, etc, that is the description of this unit. So it cannot conquer land, it is immobile, it cannot be moved, and the deployed armament, we can use armored fighting vehicle, national guards, mobile radar, mechanized infantry, corvettes also, amphibious combat vehicle, combat recon vehicle, special forces, naval infantry, etc. They have a damage against soft surface vessels and hard. They have also scouting abilities. They can reveal land forces such as the special forces. They can reveal them and show uh, the uh, exact composition. It is a single use and time limited. I am going to explain what does, it, what does it mean time limited later. They have a damage of 20 against soft targets, 45 against hard, 45 against chips. The attack range and the sight range is 50 and they have uh, a health, a hit point of 7 when they are flying and 15 when they are grounded. This is Saudi Arabia going for the city of Asmara with very very heavy units. Now I am going to launch my first ever elite swarm UAVs. You can see there, I click on my national guards, go to the red button there, deploy elite swarm UAV and just go there. Uh, level 1 Elite Swarm UAV, 1 UAV is going to require 10 deployable gear, level 2 15 deployable gear, level 3 20 deployable gear, so it is more expensive. I'm going here to give, make a little bit of a time lapse so that time goes by and we shall see what kind of damage it's going to do. So they are patrolling, you can see the blue circle, they are patrolling and only after 10 minutes of patrol they will engage. They cannot engage directly they are going to patrol for 10 minutes and later on in that uh, attack range when those 10 minutes they are finished they will attack anything in that range if there is nothing in that range they will just keep patrolling for uh, two days for two days they will keep patrolling and later they will just vanish So here we really landed a lot of damage on that tank division there in near the city of Asmara and the tanks they are dead only two remaining motorized infantry they are almost dead there yes that's quite a damage here we are getting somewhere now we are getting somewhere two huge tanks they are going to the capital Addis Ababa here and uh, we have a problem because you see here that I need to resupply to be able to launch Swarm UAVs here because my 10 National Guards they just um, dis uh, embarked from uh, disembarked from uh, landing in the city of Addis Ababa. So I only launched one elite UAV and I only need to wait to be able to launch more. I need to, be, uh, I need to wait for the resupply time. Here are my uh, National Guards, they have the full capacity, I can launch a lot there, but I have only 10 stack of 10 and uh, 2 stacks they are moving towards me. So I'm going to use some rushing here, I'm going to rush my units from uh, the north to be able to uh, catch up before they get to the cities of Bayer Dar and the capital Asmara. You can see here that the elite UAV that I launched uh, on top of Asmara, it is yet not in the uh, range of those uh, main battle tanks. This is why it kept patrolling. It, it will not attack. So this is unit expires in one day, 23 hours, 55, 56 minutes, etc. Et so as I said, the time life of the elite UAV, when it didn't uh, detect anything, two days and later it will vanish. So the first attack has been established. Yeah, you can see in front of you the damage we did for those uh, tank divisions. 
it was a repartition of um, damage on both uh, divisions. We need, we, need, we need more elite UAVs here to be able to kill those uh, tank divisions, to be honest, because it's gonna take some while. You see here, they took the, uh, the province. So now I cannot see the exact composition of those tank divisions. So to be able to see the exact composition, I will have to launch an elite UAV to be able to scout for me and give me a good vision but I have to be in the range. So this is what I am using to be to know what is like the range of 50, to be able to launch my elite UAV and those tank divisions, they can be in my range. I am using an air superiority fighter on top of my uh, moving 10 national guards to be able to see the range of 50 around me and when I will be able close enough to launch those uh, elite UAVs and attack those main battle tanks. So uh, here you need to know that these elite UAVs, they are immobile. When you are launching an elite UAV from a moving unit, those elite UAVs, they are going to stay patrolling in the first position they were launched from. They will not move with your unit. That's a very, also very important information here. When you have a moving Corvette, for example, and you launch those elite UAVs, they will stay patrolling in the first position they were launched from they will not move with your Corvette. So in this strike, I killed two main battle tanks and one motorized infantry. That's very good. We are going to be able to save these cities from falling down here without losing one national guard. I'm not going to establish contact with my national guards and I'm going to only use the elite UAVs to be able to kill them. So you remember the first elite UAV that I launched on top of Addis Ababa? Now that uh, main battle tank, has entered to the range, to the attack range and the scouting range of the first UAV. You can see clearly now that I uh, that it, the scouting has been established. I can see the full composition of that uh, tank division. So in this case, when those 10 minutes they are going to finish, that elite UAV will automatically engage that tank. Okay, we have 22, 18, 14, 10, 6, Come on, explode, and yes, you can see now, I cannot see that tank division. That means that my Elite Swarm UAV has been exploded on that tank division, and now I cannot see it. I launched another more to be able to see the full composition, and you can see a lot of damage we did for that uh, tank division, and it's going to be dead soon. 45 damage against tanks is very significant, to be honest, it's a good damage but we need to uh, find the full format and the full strategy to be able to use these Elite Swarm UAVs properly and deadly. Because uh, the Elite Swarm UAVs, they are considered as a fixed wing aircraft. So if your enemy is using SAMs, mobile SAM launchers, your um, UAVs, they are going to be dead. The anti-air is going to eat them alive. So in this case, we need to use these Elite UAVs away from the SAMS range. And at the same time, we need to use them on uh, hard targets to be able to demolish them once and for all. Here, I launched a lot of UAVs as a final strike to be able to kill them all, to kill these three stacks moving to our cities, two tank divisions and one uh, infantry division. This is a time lapse here. I'm gonna show you with the zoom in how it is going to happen now, how we are going to kill them, how we are going to demolish them. Come on, let's kill them. Please, please, this is my first use for these UAVs. Please don't let me down. Don't let me down. They are dead. That's perfect. That's amazing. That's astonishing. Oh, this is Saudi Arabia trying to slip from the sea and come from the city of Djibouti. Okay, now it's time to uh, use our elite UAVs on naval units. So we are going to uh, uh, test our UAVs on this moving boat and we are going to test the damage there. He has uh, a frigate near his city there. I hope we are not in the range of that frigate or it will attack us. What will happen now? Okay, let's wait for the time to pass to be able to attack it. And yes, as I expected, the frigate has engaged our elite UAVs. Look, one almost dead frigate, how much damage 
did to our UAVs. Our UAVs are almost killed, you can see that in front of you. Only one frigate has done this. So practically here, when we are thinking about it, we cannot really use these elite UAVs in uh, naval warfare, especially when your enemy have frigates. That is going to be very tough because we are going to lose all of our UAVs in this case. So yeah, our two UAVs uh, were still alive and landed the damage on that moving boat. I'm gonna launch another one here. Okay, so look at that. Only 6.8 hit points remaining. So it's just one single strike from my uh, Corvettes there and it is dead and done. Let's have a look at the casualties, guys. Okay, so Saudi Arabia reports. Look, uh, 20,000 casualties in Indonesia, 2,000. Also a very important tip, guys. When your UAVs die, they are not considered as casualties. That's nice. So I hope you liked this tutorial, guys, and see you in other videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.